All right, here we go with game number two. I roll, we rolled off to see who goes first, and I uh, get to go first yet again, uh, which is really nice. If you know anything about Dice Masters, you know there is a first turn advantage, um, and that is totally true. Even still in uh, Rainbow Drafts draft format, there's still an advantage to going first. Not as strong as in Constructed, because obviously you can't uh, put in the pieces that can uh, work towards a turn three kill in a draft as easily, but... Uh, Still, turn first turn advantage is really nice. So I am going to looks like I'm going to pay all four, pick up an SRA yet again. So um, this is a slower play than something more aggressive like buying a character first turn. Here's my opponent's team. I'll get back to that point in a second. Big entrance and rally. I uh, I know my opponent pretty well. He loves uh, big entrance, rightfully so. It's a good card. He's got a black widow. He's got a Ronin. Um, common Ronin. He's got a Pym Particles, the same Pym Particles I'm running. He's got a 6-cost Taskmaster, 4-cost Iron Fist, 3-cost Falcon. Not big on the Falcon, but I'm, I'm kind of coming around to it, actually. 4-cost uh, Fist Punisher, and a Venom. So he's got a pretty decent low curve, which is, is good for him. Uh, I can see why he would want to run Big Entrance, because some of, these, uh, some of these cards are on the cusp. When you have a 4-cost, it's really nice to be able to Play big entrance and buy a three or buy a four cost for three turn two. Uh, so he's probably going to pick up one of those, and he does right away. Pick up one of those turn turn one. He's going to pop that in his bag. Uh, my opponent's name is Tyler. Tyler, if you didn't want me to use the your name in the video, I apologize. I just did. Um, he is a frequenter of the uh, Facebook groups. If you're in, on, on any of those Facebook groups for Dice Masters, uh, you can see him on there. This is a mat that he um, had personally customized for him, kind of like the one that I'm using. Um, both of these mats are fairly new. Mine is very new. Um, his he got made uh, a couple months ago, I think. Uh, by the same guy who made mine, Mark Gardner. If you've seen his work, um, his was the my my last mat was the uh, made by him as well. He does a lot of really cool mats. So this is the Mark Gardner battle. Uh, I reroll that sidekick, end up with four energy, and I'm going to pick up turn two in SRA. Um, so I had I had a I make a calculated risk here. Um, I choose to buy a turn two. Um, basic action instead of a character uh, one hoping that he doesn't roll <laughs> exactly what he rolled hoping that he doesn't roll the uh, big entrance uh, but two hoping that the character that he buys is not going to do me a crazy amount of damage on turn number three because he's going to be able to pick up a four cost but he chooses this is strange he uh, actually chooses to buy a pim particles so he picks up a very aggro card or an aggro die I, I would describe it as um, big entrance allows you to reduce the cost of a bunch of characters pay buy them all up uh, put them in the bag and roll them next turn just to try and uh, smack your opponent in the face a couple times uh, but instead he chooses to prep a or to, to purchase and then prep a uh, a pim particles which isn't going to do him much good if he rolls it and it comes up as an action face he's actually going to be really behind um so he, he here, he forgets that it's not continuous, the big entrance. So he puts that in and redraws. But as I said, it kind of ends up being where if, if he rolls that as, a, as an action, and oh, it just came up as an action, he's super far behind now. So he's going to have to pay three straight up for a Ronin, which is really interesting because he could have just done that last turn. Paid, paid two for a Ronin, had an extra left over, or just buy a four drop. So... My gamble of picking up two uh, SRAs actually really pays off here because now I'm the one in, uh, ahead in um, aggression, really. Sadly, I don't get to uh, land the SRA there, but I field another sidekick. I have four energy here. Probably want to pick up, play on curve, and pick up Iron Fist. Would probably be the best play. But here, actually, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to buy one uh, Justice and um, pop that stuff in the used pile. So last game, um, I kind of filled my bag over full with too much stuff. And uh, so this game, I'm kind of compensating for that by not spending my energy fully there, just getting what I need. Um, I also know that I'm ahead. So uh, filling up my bag and, and missing rolls like I did first game would uh, really slow me back down and allow him to catch up. So I'm going to try to play a little safer. 
pick up stuff that I need, um, not that I want right away. But again, I think buying an Iron Fist there is not a bad, not a bad call at all. He still has nothing in the field zone though, nothing at all. So if I land um, SRA here, I get a free three dice. Really buffs the uh, buffs the ability to, oh, and there it is, buffs the ability up to uh, pick up Hercules or Captain Marvel. So he can't choose to uh, KO one of his characters, seeing as he doesn't have character. So I roll three right away. I land a Ronin. Um, that's on its lower side, though. Or no, it's 2-4 side. It's, it's middle side. That stat line is just amazing. Use SRA again, which allows me to roll three more, and I get a Justice. So this is where the um, the turn two buy of Pym Particles on, on his end really slowed him down, not, not allowing him to field much and KO to prevent this from happening. I'm going to pay five for a Hercules, and I feel the two characters all in one turn. I worked through my entire bag, and I'm going to hit him for five because uh, the, the Justice gets a buff from the two sidekicks. It was on its top face, which means it was a three attack, and then it gets a plus two, so he takes five. I'm in a really good position. Having a Ronin out, allowing myself the uh, KO ability, I can KO my own Ronin to prevent some damage. And he's just, uh, he's, he's really struggling to get something out on the field. So he's got six energy. Did not roll the Venom. The uh, Pym Particles uh, came up energy. So he picks up, with that six energy, he picks up one of his uh, Mistress of Pain uh, Black Widows. And he picks up another Ronin. So he's got two Ronins that he can roll here. Well, in a, in a little while. It's my turn, though. Draw four from the bag, shake them up and roll them. Don't land the character or SRA. Got two general energy. And then it flips. I land uh, both the character and SRA. Again, I get a free three dice. That justice is um, uh, going to be a four attack justice. Oh, I hear I have the opportunity to roll. Ah, uh, but don't land him. Roll the opportunity to roll that Hercules, but he did not come up. I do have... Um, however, six energy and a bolt. So this is another opportunity where I can pick up on curve uh, my Captain Marvel. So I push six off to the side, pick up Captain Marvel, pop that over there, and I probably just want to hit him again for four, dropping him to 11. I'm at 20. I have board control. Uh, my opponent can flip board control a little bit um, with a couple of those characters that he has in bag. But the uh, man, the big entrance is not doing him much good either. It's allowing him a little bit of, of prepping into his bag, but really not much at all. He finally rolls a character, gets a character out. Uses big entrance, but with two energy left over, he's not got much that he can purchase. He can buy a falcon. He could also buy another ronin. Uh, unless he ran out of ronins. Sadly, his, uh, his ronin die count is cut off on the side there. So he picks up one of those falcons. And uh, all that is going to go into his bag next turn. I think he's got four more sidekicks in the bag, so he's going to still have to work through it. Not in a good position, um, especially if I pick up this SRA. If he chooses to uh, KO his character, which would probably be a bad idea, um, then obviously I only get to roll two dice, but uh, it allows me to move through my bag even more. Either way, he's in a tough spot. So I choose to roll two side, or yeah, the two sidekicks there. One comes up mask, one comes up fist. Those are better energies. Um, I ask him if he wants to KO his character to make me roll two dice. He chooses not to. So the right call, I think. So I roll three. Captain Marvel pops up on our four four side, which is amazing. And then um, I ask him again because SRA came up. These rolls have been going exactly the way I want them to, exactly the way they should be uh, if I want to win. Pick up three dice, roll them, and, uh, and then Hercules comes up. So I've really added insult to injury to uh, uh, be able to field these, obviously. Insult to injury to my opponent. His rolls have not been going so well for him. My rolls have been uh, on point. And obviously this is, this is uh, fairly random. So here I have a decision. Do I attack? Do I wait? Um, I'm going to get... All my characters are going to get plus two. Choose not to attack yet. I buy a justice. 
got two energy here. I could uh, I could pay for a pin particles, uh, but I'm actually just gonna push forward, and I think I have game right here. Everything gets plus two plus two. He can block my biggest character, which currently is uh, Hercules. Uh, but even if he does, the Captain Marvel gets a plus one. That's five. Um, the two sidekicks, both a three. So they're three, six, um, plus five is 11 right there. And that's not even counting the Ronin damage. So there's really no way he can block here. My opponent just had a, uh, a tough roll situation. And everything is going to go through that obviously isn't blocked. Um, he, we count up the damage. He sees that uh, that's lethal. And that was a quick, quick game two. That's exactly the way I wanted this uh, this team to play as I drafted it. Um, I, I felt really uncomfortable in the draft, not sure where I was going to go, how, how this team was going to work, but I had an idea of how it should work, and that was much more like what I was thinking. Using SRA to pick things up uh, on curve. My opponents have not been buying SRA. I don't think uh, they've been looking at that card and, and realizing how powerful it is. Um, because you're basically asking them, okay, do you want me to ramp a lot or do you want me to ramp a little less but you KO a character? It's just super powerful. So using that to um, buy a bunch of stronger characters that buff the lower characters and then just swing it in for lethal. Uh, all right, so let's jump over to game number three. That was game number two. I'm currently 2-0, um, and I am in first place. Uh, there's one other person that is 2-0, and o, and everyone else is sort of right there in the middle. So we have one more round to go. Um, I'm trying to close it out so that I can pick up that first or second prize. Obviously, I'm going to get one or the other. Thanks for watching.